You want to transform your life, remove these two words from your vocabulary. If only. If only is such a burden to carry around and stagnates us when we're trying to move ahead and make, uh, make our lives better, improve the quality of our lives. And it's so prevalent on the internet and so prevalent when you talk to people. They might not verbalize it. It might be under the surface, but people have an if only. If only my husband would do this. If only my children were like that. If only the government weren't, wasn't so corrupt. If only the media inf actually educated and informed the populace. If only foods were healthier. If only gas wasn't so expensive. If only I could find the right job. If only I could meet the right person. If only I could have the right house. If only they would approve of me. If only I would make more money. If only, if only, if only. That is so destructive and eats away at the very core of our being and our ability to empower ourselves and make significant change in our life and live life from a sense of you're in control. And what... If you have a, a pyramid, at the top are the people that uh, control the, the land, the wealth, the media, whatever, the, the ones that are in power, and the ones at the bottom. The ones at the bottom generally are if only. Not always, of course, there's all kinds of situations, but I find that the people that are unhappiest, the people that can't seem to catch a break, can't seem to get ahead, are if onlys. If only. And that's what the people at the top want. They want that victim mentality. They want people to, to feel like, oh, the people at the top are to blame for my life and the way, the situation that it's, it's in. And then there's those people that just, despite whatever the circumstances, the difficult circumstances, despite the government, despite their partner, despite their children, despite the job they have, they manage to take charge of their life. And I think that's what is the most disheartening thing and depressing thing and demotivates people is we don't feel empowered. We don't feel like our lives are in our control. The, the more you veer off the course of authenticity, and living life on your own terms, a natural repercussion is you're going to suffer. You're going to be unhappy. That's the your being's feedback mechanism to tell you you're off your path, you're off your course. And people continue to stay off course because they're always saying, if only. Maybe they don't speak it, but that's their general mode of operandi. A fantastic book, which uh, gave me the idea for this video, is How I Found Freedom in an Unfree World by Harry Brown. And in the beginning, he talks about all the different types of people that are if-onlyers and how imprisoning that way or mode of thinking is. Really recommend the book. That book is probably one of the yeah one of my top 10 books as far as after you read it your life is never the same and it's how I found freedom in an unfree world by Harry Brown and it's out of print so it's really expensive if you look on Amazon you can uh, go on the internet and find a PDF version and read it on uh, your iPad on your computer on your Kindle and highly recommend uh, reading it it really hits home what I think we're all seeking. What we're all seeking is freedom. What people want is the freedom to live their life how they see fit um, on their own terms. I'm not talking about, yeah. So erasing this from our vocabulary and catching ourselves. Um, and if only this person treated me different, I wouldn't be in such a bad mood. If only my boss 
And once you start becoming aware of it, you see it all around you. When you start talking to people, uh, you see it on, the, on television. You, it's just all around you, if only, if only. How do we eliminate that way of thinking from our lives? The first thing is we it's, get so caught up in the matrix, the system, conformity, following the other sheep, that we dig ourselves our own grave. You, when you become, it's like when I uh, was in South Africa and the farmers would, uh, this was a while back, the farmers, the white farmers would give um, the Africans liquor. They would get them, give them free liquor and get them uh, hooked or addicted uh, to the alcohol and they just kept them enslaved uh, because they were addicted to the liquor and they wanted the free liquor. And you become a servant when you're dependent on so many things from the system. Now, obviously, we need food, we need shelter, uh, we need some clothing. But we in Western civilization take it to such an extreme that we lose our freedom. Everything, a uh, the theme my videos try to tie together is how to regain our freedom, how to gain our sense of self-empowerment, and how to take control and charge of our lives. And one of the things is not... Some people say, oh, you have to watch the news, you have to keep up with what's going on, you have to fight, you have to protest, you have to, you know, all these things. I encourage people to do what has more immediate results. What is more effective? What's more effective is creating the life you want and not needing the permission or approval or to blame anybody else. It's complete and total responsibility for what is happening in your life. And what I'm speaking of, I'm talking about the reaction to it. Obviously, there are many things you can't control in your life, but you can always control the reaction to it and become one of these people that, if only, just doesn't is not part of your vocabulary.